Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avidnax. My name is Max, and today we're going to be tying a jigged Martian midge. A uh, pretty simple little pattern, uh, just more exposing you to it. Uh, I've seen it in a couple of different uh, fly tire magazines, and uh, I think it's a you know unique pattern and something worth fishing uh, definitely on your local tailwaters in Colorado. Uh, so, got a uh, A-Rex jig hook, um, some MFC tungsten beads, uh, the lucent beads in the purple, uh, some Mirage Flashaboo and uh, some Flashaboo Glow in the Dark. Uh, pretty simple fly, uh, time. So in the vise, we got a A-Rex FW554 jig hook. This is a size 16. Uh, does have a little micro barb on there, so make sure you pinch it. Um, thread, got some Nano Silk. This is the 50 denier. Um, I like this. For pretty much everything, uh, if I'm tying streamers, I'd go up to maybe the 100. Uh, really big streamer, maybe the like 150. Um, this is pretty universal though for a lot of stuff that I tie. Uh, I really like the right bobbins, so just have a couple of these and pretty much tie exclusively with the Nano Silk. Start my thread right behind the bead here. Gonna secure that and lock it in place, and build a little bit of a taper and then snip out my tag there. Even my thread up, and I'm gonna work my thread down to just beyond the hook point. So for my rib, I've got some Flashaboo in purple, and tie that in. And work it all the way back to my end of thread wraps, to the end of my thread wraps. Create a little bit of a taper, flatten my thread out again, stash this in my material clip. So now I got some uh, glow in the dark flashaboo. Uh, this is real cool material. Um, it's pretty fibrous. It's got a lot of uh, singular fibers making up uh, the hole. So when you are trimming it or you are a kind of phrase, as you can see. Uh, so just kind of when tied in directly at the edge, I would tie it in more towards the middle and you can kind of slide it down to keep all those from getting away from you. And secure that. And then this is where I can slide it down a little bit. And then I'll work it all the way back to the end of my thread wraps. Snip out my tag, gather them all together. That's secured. I'm gonna make nice even wraps. Try to keep them as close together as possible. And work my way up shank Take it right behind the bead and I'm going to secure that with a wrap in front and a wrap behind Then I can snip out Flashaboo. So a nice little taper. Now we can go ahead and take our rib and wrap towards me. Then you're going for some nice 
even segmentation. Putting some pressure, but not too much. Stuff's a little bit slippery, so try to get it as close as you can. space for the collar. So nice even segmentation. And uh, if you had some bone dry right now, it'd be good uh, to add on there. Um, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of Zappa Gap. And we'll do a quick whip finish. have it jigged Martian Mitch thanks for watching I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the pattern uh, pretty simple little tie but definitely worth a spot in your box uh, like I said tie in a bunch of different sizes uh, mix up the bead colors rib colors uh, a lot of different variations but the glow in the dark uh, definitely looks good uh, in the water and the deeper you go the darker it is uh, check out the materials at avidmax.com.